Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to Garage Gym 2.0. And this is kind of a, an appropriate video because what we have here is a full review of this in the box right here, the Bells of Steel Blitz Airbike 2.0. So the Blitz Airbike 2.0 in Garage Gym 2.0, it seems very appropriate. But in this full review video, what we're gonna do is talk about the ordering process, the delivery, the assembly, and of course the fun part, the assembly is not the fun part, but the fun part is actually getting to use this particular air bike to take you through a workout and see how I feel. I know I'm gonna feel winded. I know I'm gonna feel like I'm about to die because this type of cardio, the air bike cardio is no joke. So we're gonna take you through all that stuff, give our honest opinions on this. And of course, updated reviews as we use this as with anything in Garage Gym 1.0 and this garage, Garage Gym 2.0. So please subscribe, click the bell to get notified, comment below, let me know what you want to fill this particular space. It's a little empty right now, but it's gonna fill up quick. It fills up before you know it. And we're definitely happy to have an air bike here in this particular garage gym. So let's get started, talk about the ordering process, delivery, and all the other stuff. By the way, timestamps will be in the description as well as the pinned comment. You can always skip to the part you want, but try to watch the whole video. These things are not cheap, even though this is rated to be the most affordable and actually has a lot of features and stuff that the more expensive ones don't have. So we're gonna cover that throughout the entire review video here but try to watch the whole thing. Let me know what you think. And of course, like I said in the beginning, please subscribe and click the bell to get notified. So in this chapter, we're combining the ordering and the delivery into one chapter because quite frankly, it's super easy. It's not that inconvenient at all. And if you've ever ordered gym equipment before and had to have it delivered, you know what I'm about to say. So ordering is obviously pretty simple. You either go to the Bells of Steel website or they have an Amazon storefront, make sure it's available and not out of stock because it's out of stock. Goes without saying, but in 2023, I think I have to say this, if it's not in stock, you cannot order it and it cannot be delivered. Yes, it's crazy, isn't it? Delivery is super simple. It's delivered via UPS. And like I said, just a few seconds ago, if you've ever ordered gym equipment, and have to make the appointment, get the time window and all that stuff. I know first world problems, but it is a little bit more of an inconvenience when you have to deal with a freight company with the heavier pieces of equipment, need to make the appointment. Sometimes it's a week or two out from the phone call. Then you get a time window of four hours and usually they call 30 to 60 minutes before. So you don't have to wait around all day, but this is delivered via UPS, makes it super simple. It got delivered to our unit and I was able to just take the hand truck and just move it right into here to the garage gym. Super simple. And I love when stuff gets delivered via UPS and FedEx to be able to be at my door or even bring it right over here to the garage gym. Uh, the freight isn't bad. It's not terribly inconvenient, but there are a few more steps, but I figured that would be a great feature if you're looking to order this and just kind of get it delivered off of the order track and do all that stuff. And for me, getting multiple pieces of equipment delivered all the time, if I can use UPS or FedEx or get it via UPS and FedEx, I'll take that over a freight company any day. Not to say that they're terrible, but you gotta jump through a little bit more of a hoop or hoops uh, to get that gym equipment delivered. So I always wanna show what it looks like completely packed up like this before I start unboxing it completely and also assembling it. Now, one thing you might've noticed in the box earlier that uh, the box had some little holes in there. It looks like it had some little tears in the corners from being dragged around. I'm always very wary with UPS and FedEx. I gave the positives, but the negatives sometimes are super rough with this stuff, but it looks like everything was packed up very nicely, even some wooden boards here and on the top that I removed, lots of styrofoam, lots of things wrapped. And I see very few parts, which is awesome because the more parts they usually have to pack in there, there's always room for error, bolts and screws and stuff like that in this. And 
hopefully, we'll cross our fingers that we don't have that, but uh, it looks like everything's intact. The box looked a little roughed up, but everything as far as the air bike components in here look pretty good. If I see something that isn't quite up to snuff, I'll contact customers for it, but also I'll leave that in this video if I find anything. So I usually show you the assembly during these full review videos when I first get the equipment, but Bells of Steel in this case did a great job really breaking down or setting up an assembly, not breaking it down, but assembling uh, the Airbike 2.0. It's about 11, 12 minutes long, but they go into great detail about assembling this step-by-step. -step. So I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Uh, I can't really do it as well as they did it. So refer to that video for assembling the Airbike 2.0. So as you can see right here, the Blitz 2.0 Airbike from Bells of Steel has been fully assembled. As a matter of fact, it's been fully assembled for over a week and I have been using this for my morning cardio sessions, uh, either before weights or as a standalone cardio session slash HIIT workout. I have to say the build quality is pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take a closer look at the build quality different parts and bring up information on each part and what makes the Blitz 2.0 air bike stand out from the competition. So let's start off with the build quality of essentially why they call it an air bike. Right here we have a metal fan inside this cage and it's extremely quiet for an air bike. The reason why, it is a belt-driven air bike, not a chain-driven air bike. Chain-driven air bikes are much louder. Now, just to let you know, no matter what air bike you buy, whether it's belt-driven or chain-driven, there's gonna be some noise because you're generating air with this. But I did some riding during the course of my week plus of using the Blitz 2.0, and now we're gonna show what it sounds like. There's no audio effects or anything. Uh, the echo here uh, in this garage might amplify the sound, but let's just take a few seconds to listen to what the air bike sounds like. So as we're still looking at the bottom portion of the Blitz 2.0, I just want to talk about the stability of this air bike, and it's very, very stable. Uh, even in this space, which is mostly level in this garage gym 2.0, it doesn't move around. As a matter of fact, if you did have any kind of shaking or rocking, two feet back here, you can adjust those to make it level. I locked down, I just put them all the way pretty much up to the top, and it's been very stable for me to ride. Now also you have these wheels on the front right here and they're not that big. That might be the one minor con because if you go to lift it up and you lift it up just a little bit more than a little bit, this part, the cage for the uh, fan blade is going to hit the ground. I know some models have like turf tires and stuff like that, but this is the most affordable on the market as of this recording and the quality is right up there with the more expensive models. So the fact I can still have it and move it around very easily. I just need to be careful of this portion right here. I can take it in here, I can take it outside, get the free tan, all that stuff. Uh, it's a minor, minor, minor con. And if they were to raise the prices to add the turf tires, I don't, I don't know if I'd be willing to pay for that. So there's two parts I'm gonna concentrate on in this section of the review video. Number one, you have a fan guard right here. So even if you're going to be pedaling very hard, which the air bikes are supposed to kind of do a lot of really intense hit workouts, uh, you're not going to get the air that's generated from the fan towards you. So you stay warmer and all the air kind of blows out to the front of the air bike, which is really nice. These, these guards should be standard on each and every air bike. I don't know if they are. I saw a few where they're, they're not, but I like the addition of this fan guard and I'd rather have the fan guard over the turf tires. So I'm glad they included that. Also, we have foot pegs here that you can put your feet up on there. That's why they're called foot pegs. And if you decide to just use your arms, say to warm up for an upper body day, 
you can use the handles up here, put your feet up and not have to use the pedals. I usually just use lower and upper body. I use the pedals and the handles just to warm my whole body up. But if you just want to do upper body and do some quick warm up time on the air bike, you can totally do that. So here we have the handles as well as the monitor. And yes, you could put a smartphone right here. I put my iPhone 13 there in portrait mode. Works just fine. Of course, I cover up the time because I don't have to see how long I've been torturing myself on the air bike, but it works very well. Uh, it's a standard monitor as you would get basically with just about anything. They're all pretty standard right there. Uh, they're all monochrome usually. And this has a nice little graphic of somebody on the bike right now and also has your time. And you can have all these buttons over here to set whatever intervals or whatever kind of workout you want to have. And of course, you can go back and forth with this. And like I said, you don't have to have your feet on the pedal. You can pretty much use the handles if you want to, and it works perfectly fine. It has an auto shut off for that. I was looking for a power button. It's battery powered, speaking about the monitor, and it'll auto shut off, I think in like a couple minutes or so, I'm not sure the exact time but it does an auto shut off and you can replace the batteries in the back. So very easy, very maintenance free, just like I was talking about with the belt driven portion of this, this screen, all everything is pretty maintenance free when it comes to an air bike. This might not be a big deal to most people, but it is to me when a company sells a piece of cardio equipment, especially an air bike, you kind of expect you're going to be drinking water during your workout. You're going to get dehydrated. Not every company includes a cup holder. Now, just to let you know, it's not a top of the line cup holder. It bends very easily. And if your blender bottle, that's what I use, is too big, it's not gonna fit and it's just gonna go like that. But if you use your standard blender bottle, not the big 32 ounce or above, if you have a regular 16 or 20 ounce blender bottle or something, or just a bottle of water, it'll fit in there just fine. But that might be the only Little con with that is it doesn't universally fit every cup that you want to use, but you're going to most likely be doing hit training. So during the course of your rest, if it's like 30 seconds or something like that, you can grab a quick drink and get back on the air bike. So I want to talk about the seat because Bells of Steel talks about this seat quite a few times on the product page and they nailed it. They got it right. They talk about how comfortable this seat is. And when I ride my e-bike, it's nowhere near as comfortable as this. And that supposedly has a comfort seat on it. This is a very comfortable seat. Uh, the one thing I do like, it does have an adjustment for the height up and down, which is pretty standard, just twist. But what I really like is this adjustment back here, the lever adjustment for the seat to go back and forth. Having the twisting on the bottom down below where the camera's at is fine. But this is kind of a pain. I like the lever functionality of this that you can just figure out exactly where you need to be, push that down and you're locked in. The seat is very comfortable. So when they talk about that over and over again on the product page, they are not false advertising and no, they are not exaggerating. This is a very comfortable air bike seat. So I wanna talk about the pedals, but I also wanna talk about the bar here that is connected to the handle. Cause we use the air bike like I said, it is connected pedals to handle as with any air bike. The build quality on this is very, very good. Pedals are really good. And I have size 13 feet. So some pedals, I tend to slip and I get nervous that it doesn't have the little strap here like spin bikes do to keep your foot in there. But also at the same time, I like to put the center of my foot here, which most of those uh, grips for the feet, whatever they call them, my foot's gonna to be too far out. Usually my foot would be back here in this, uh, let's go back here, there we go. Let's bring that around there, back around. <laughs> so if I put the tip of my foot there, as you can see, that's fine if I had any kind of strap, but if I'm here, sometimes I like to push a little harder and put the center of my foot there. Therefore, I'm not gonna be able to ride them. So that's probably why they don't include those with most air bikes. Not everybody's gonna use it like this. Most people really push down with the center of that foot to get as much power as possible. So that just about does it for this full review of this right here, the Bells of Steel Blitz 
2.0 air bike, and there's one feature that I don't think I mentioned enough during the course of this full review video. I'm gonna walk around the, uh, the Blitz 2.0 and just talk about how I always seem to trip over stuff. I'm very clumsy. I trip over things, especially wires, when things are plugged in. But you notice, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping over any wires because this requires no power whatsoever. This is an off-the-grid air bike. Most of the air bikes are. It's not exclusive to the Bells of Steel version, but air bikes in general are off the grid, just like curved treadmills. And even off camera, I have the Teeter Power 10 that I'm gonna review soon, requires no power. Now, I, I'm in a pretty unique situation, but maybe not so if you have a garage or a home where there's lots of stuff plugged in, there's lots of shared you know, outlets and stuff like that. This garage is one of four. We have two of them. This is Garage Gym 2.0. The other is 1.0, and then there's two more garages. The breaker seems to trip a lot lately, so I think everybody, all four garages, are using power to some extent, or maybe someone's charging their Tesla in the garage and tripping the breaker on all the other garages. So if I can cut down how much power I'm consuming, because there's no bigger pain in the ass than you're doing cardio on a plugged in, save the recumbent bike over there, and it just shuts off. You gotta go outside, trip the breaker, you know, to reset it, come back and it happens two minutes later. So I'm able to get a full cardio session in here and we're very mindful, we don't have to plug anything in. So it keeps everything clean. And of course, if you don't wanna pay an electric bill and you wanna save some money, cost of energy is going up for everybody, then something like this is for you. But here's the real question. I asked it to myself before I decided on the Blitz 2.0. Is this a quality piece of equipment, especially for the price? Because this here is the most affordable air bike on the market today. Is it any good? No, it's actually great. It's actually amazing. It's better than good. It's great. I'll go as far as to say this right now, as, this, as of this recording, is the best air bike. Not just the best for the price. This is the best air bike on the market and you should definitely get it. I recommend it, I have it, and it's definitely gonna be a staple in my garage gym or whatever gym I have in the near and far future. The build quality is amazing. I don't see it breaking or anything like that. So that's my opinion, that's my viewpoint on the Blitz 2.0. And if you decide to get this or anything else from the Bells of Steel website, please use my affiliate link. Sometimes it'll help you save money, but each and every time, you use that link or any other ones in the description below. You help support the content here at Stevie Richards Fitness because I want those two other garages. No, I don't. I have way too much stuff. I don't, <laughs> don't I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, really. I, I am, two is more than enough. It's actually way more than enough. So I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> but I love gym equipment. What can you do? Hopefully you do too. Hopefully you subscribe. Click the bell to, uh, to get notified. Comment below. Let me know what you want me to review next here on the channel. And most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.